हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू मार्किंग अप विद एच टी एम एल फॉर बिगिनर्स आई एम अमित कुमार एंड दिस इज द ट्वेंटी सेवेंथ टूटोरियल ले आउट एलिमेंट्स सो फ्रेंड्स इन आर प्रीवियस ट्यूटोरियल वी हैव सीन डिफरेंट सेक्शंस दैट कैन बी यूज इन एच टी एम एल एंड नाउ वी विल स्टडी अबाउट दोज एलिमेंट्स विच आर यूज टू रिप्रेजेंट दोज सेक्शंस नाउ फॉलोइंग आर द एच टी एम एल ले आउट एलिमेंट्स दैट आर यूज विद डिफरेंट पेज सेक्शंस and you can see the name main article section aside header nav and footer so let's discuss about them one by one now main element it is used for the main content as the name is suggesting and it is used only once per page so it is mentioned there don't try to use it more than once so it will be used only once per page and we used to put it directly inside the body now ideally it should not be nested inside other elements it is directly kept inside body and then after no other element should nest the main function so that should be directly part of the body but it's not mandatory ideally it has to be used like that but it's totally depend on you article now it encloses a block of related content that makes sense on its own without the rest of the page you can assume it as a single blog from a blog page right definitely an article is nothing but a small section uh, inside the page okay and you can treat it as a single blog section now section and article are mostly alike but there is a difference sections are used for grouping together a single part of the page so you can have different uh, parts of the page inside different sections and together they can constitute a single functionality now you can assume an article as a blog and a section of a page just like a map on the page a google map on the web page right so that's a basic difference between section and an article now it's considered best practice to begin each section with a heading now when i'm saying heading don't get confused with uh, your title of the page or with some other thing so each section should have their own headings aside now it contains content that is not directly related to the main content but can provide additional information indirectly related to it or in other words you can say sidebar right so a side is used to show the sidebar now i told you sidebar contains the content which is related to the main content right maybe it is not directly related but somehow it is related to the main content and that's why the content of the sidebar may change as soon as the main page changes header now i told you header is used to represent the introductory content of a web page as it is the top most part of the body of the page so hence whatsoever you want to introduce over there your title your logo your heading of the page or any other cover image anything so definitely it represents a group of introdu introductory content but i am not saying that header can also only be used to represent the introductory content of the page it can also introduce a section or it can introduce a uh, an article right so if it is child of a body definitely it will be a global header and that will be for the whole web page but if it is a child of an article or section then definitely the header represents the part specific part of the article in the section now don't get confused with the title or heading of the article now header will not represent the title or the heading of the article or section it will represent the introductory content now that can be an image that can be a video that can be a collection of image in form of slides so that can be anything but definitely it's not the title and the heading now nav which is actually a abbreviation or short form of navigation and that's why it is used for maintaining the navigation bar and footer is used to represent a group of end content for a page now friends let me tell you all these elements that i told you till now were semantic elements right and they have some semantic meanings to provide on the screen or to provide to the screen reader 
Now there are some non-semantic elements as well which we use but definitely we will not discuss about that in this tutorial. We will discuss about those non-semantic elements, non-semantic layout elements in the upcoming tutorial. So now it's time to see these things practically. Now friends you can see I have created a tutorial 27 folder and inside that I have kept this file. Now there is a plenty of code I have written over there but don't worry I will actually dictate each and everything over there. And one more thing for this page I have created a CSS file definitely I am not going to explain you the content I have written in the CSS but I will show you that CSS file. Now why I have used it okay I will tell you in a while. So let's see the page first. So you know this head part so this head part except this link rest are as it is as we were using in the previous html pages now let's talk about body now you can see a header over there now this is to represent the header of the page okay and this header is containing only a heading and it's not containing any logo or anything like that okay now just below the header i have used the nav element then you can clearly see the main main element over here right which contains the whole page now this main is ending at the last here it is right so each and everything of the page is part of the main content and within the main you can see i have used the article and this article is ending just before this aside or sidebar so before i kept the sidebar or before i close the main so this article is ending over there now this article is having a one two and three subheading of the page so that's why you can see it is h2 h3 and h4 depending upon the heading subheading or sub subheading category now i have kept few text over here just to represent it on the screen and finally uh, you can see in the sidebar or in the sidebar i have kept one more heading over there and i have just kept simple anchor tags which is not referring to anything and simple text in this sidebar and this is the closing of the sidebar so it's opening and closing here now one more thing let me tell you here in the navigation bar i have provided few links but none of them is working because right now we are not focusing on the link part we are focusing on this layout element so we have used plenty of layout elements like header nav main article and a side and of course footer i haven't used section other than section i have used all the thing over here now let me save this and let me show you the output okay so let me run this and launch in chrome now definitely uh, it's not a formatted web page right you can see that though links are visible here and here and headings and subheadings are according to the format but still few things are not according to the format like this is a sidebar so this is a side element so it should be in the sidebar right here somewhere here and similarly footer should appear different from the rest of the text right and similarly header should appear different navigation bar should look like a navigation bar so see guys these are the elements which provide semantic meanings but as far as formatting is concerned they will give you a simple format like this so if you want a stylish format you have to use the css and in css you will design or you will provide style to these semantic elements only so let me apply that css which i have created and then let me show you the output so this is the css now here you can see uh, the tags that are used for designing so html body the basic tags then h1 tag then p input li tag now let me show you those semantic header layouts i should say right so uh, here are the tags nav article aside footer nav again ul under nav li under nav and anchor under nav so these are the formats provided for the navigation bar and this is for the main content you can see main article aside aside li footer so these semantic elements are very helpful for the screen readers are also helpful for the web designers because it helps us while designing the page so now it's time to uncomment this and show the web page with this style so let me save this one and let me run it again so now launch in chrome and here you see now this is the look of the page with the style you can see the header you can see the navigation you can see the sidebar and you can see the main content as well as you can see the footer so it's quite like a web page or a website 
and you can easily compare this one now these are the two outputs of the same text now this is the html this is the page without css and this is the page with css so you can see the amount of difference it provides to the page right so these are the layout elements and that's how we use them on our page and definitely after completing css you would also be able to design a page uh, like that and i would say much better than that so that marks the end of this tutorial hope to meet you in the next video tutorial till then thank you and happy programming